how to convert your Shopify web store to a mobile app. So in this video, I will show you how you can convert your mobile store to a mobile app with an application called One Mobile. Now, if you take a look at the Shopify store, you can see that are, there are a few mobile app builder services that you can choose from but i think one mobile uh, tops it because one mobile is the simplest to use i think and it is built for shopify which means that it has 100 percent perfect integration with shopify and it, it just feels like an extension of shopify really now the good thing about this app is that it offers a free plan all the way to a $299 a month professional plan so you can grow with this app as your need grows and as your business scales up you have more budget you can still use this app because it does have full features but you can always start with the free plan over here now I'm just going to run you through the settings and your the setup so that we can uh, publish our app to the App Store or Google Play Store for your um, customers to enjoy. So let's go ahead and go to the setup here. Of course, after you've installed the One Mobile app by clicking this on the Shopify App Store. If you don't know how to go to the Shopify App Store, just go to uh, Apps, click Add Apps, and click the uh, scroll down and click Shopify App Store and search for Mo One Mobile, and you will see One Mobile over there and go ahead and click it and install it now on to the setup so the setup here is pretty simple you have five steps over here select theme set an app name uh, design app screens preview on testing devices and publish to app store let's go through each and every one of them so the first one is to select theme now as you can see there are already a few themes that you can choose uh, from the lists over here now some themes are geared more towards clothing uh, health and beauty, home decor, and electronics. You can also choose a general theme. So I think this general theme is good if you have uh, various products, uh, various product lines. But I think in my case over here, I want to sell a t-shirt. So I'm going to choose clothing, which is the airy uh, theme over here. So let's go ahead and click select theme. All right. So theme is set up. Next is app name and colors. So let's set this up. And I want to name my app name to um let's say as a cloth you know to and of course you can change the text colors and you can upload the logo now i'll just uh change the text color to like a dark blue i think wait i think uh i want to change it to like i think burgundy is best okay so you have uh these uh this uh interface from the get-go and this is made by one mobile so just you just have to edit the uh, informations now you can add a logo and uh, you can see the recommended size over here if you have a logo and i think i'm gonna upload my logo over here so let's see if the logo that i made just uh, fits perfectly but as you can see the recommended size is 490 by 90 pixels so just make sure you can uh, you crop your logo to that size so that it will be shown perfectly on one mobile but let's see over here so let's just pretend this is this is my logo and move on okay so it does take some time to upload that's all right okay anyway now uh, you will see a logo here now okay so you can either choose a logo for the title or a title text I think I'm gonna I think if I were you I'm gonna choose logo because I think that looks the cleanest and it fits the best for this theme and you can change the header and bottom bar color you can change the background color you can change the uh, icon color if you want to make it like a dark theme also you can do that i think like this i think this i think that lo this looks good and the primary button i think i'm gonna go with like a a chill red color over here and you can also change the text color if you want now that is for our app name and colors let's go ahead and click save and move on to the next step so let's see uh, let's find the next step.
Okay, so let's go back to one mobile and continue from here. So the third part is to design the app screens. So you can select screens, drag, drop blocks. I think this is very similar like editing your website on Shopify. So it's it's very easy. Now, as, you, as you can see, there are a few um, premium blocks but I think you can start from the free blocks just fine. So this is your home screen. Now this is your home screen on the bottom left button over here. You can also have a few home, a few um, a few screens as you can see. Now let's find let okay. So you can edit the blocks over here. You can you can you can you can move the blocks and maybe you can like make it like welcome. Or maybe you can add like product tracking if you're if you were wondering how you can add product tracking on Shopify. There is a video about it in this channel. Go ahead and search it. Okay, so let's close this setup. Go ahead, real quick. Now uh, you can find the uh, uh, the image resizing, also the resizing uh, menu. If you want to upload an image, just click it and click upload image. Just click on this uh, image banner over here. This is a collection slider. Now, currently, I don't have a collection in my Shopify, but if you have, you should see your collection here. Okay, anyway, so now the collections, you can choose the collections and you can choose to fill fit or stretch the image. Another, uh, Another blocks again that you can use is the circle image slider. I think this is uh, a type of the collections uh, banner. You can also add a collection grid or a collection slider, or as you, or like uh, a radius button also. But I think the best selling uh, homepage is I think the page that highlights your best selling product. So I think this uh, theme. Uh, this template is already very good to start with. Okay, so let's click save. And let's um, go back to the one mobile um, settings. Yep, I think we've done that. Preview. Okay, so once you're done with all of these, uh, these three setups, you are pretty much good to go. So let's preview on testing devices. Now to preview on testing devices, you use the QR code over here, but you need to download the one mobile app first. So make sure you do that before publishing your mobile app so that it runs just the way you like it. Now, to, uh, you can also have, change your branding right, right here. So this is the uh, branding, um, for your app so you can have a good app design language um, across the different pages so just go ahead and do that so this is basically like the um, top and bottom section so you can uh, change the settings for each because these top and bottom like header and footers will be the same across all the pages right now now, lastly is the navigation. So as you can see, the navigation uh, settings, you can choose either a side menu or a button bar. Now, personally, I like side menu because it doesn't take away from the current app so that I have a good idea of where I am at right now. If you want to add a menu, just click add menu here. For example, you want to you add like a tracking and you can embed, you can embed a an external link for your tracking uh, website maybe go back to your shopify store where there is tracking available or you can add a screen to like a home screen or a collection list list an account wish list um, etc you can do that also now as you can see on the more premium uh, packages you can add product details search card and account and etc now once again, I highly recommend you to uh, preview it on a testing device. Now, lastly, is to publish to App Store and Google Play Store. Now, to publish this, you need to fill out, fill in this form because OneMobile will actually do this for you. 
So if you just click uh, like fill in the form and just f uh, finish the form, One Mobile will help you to publish the app to the Play Store right away. That's very cool in my opinion. So that is all from me. That is how you make a an app from your Shopify store. Thank you.